so everything is pretty chaotic right now. Um, and so I've decided I just need to lean into it and try a technique I haven't tried before, or haven't necessarily seen before either. Um, but here's what's normal. I have nailed the thumbtacks into the canvas. First step, simplest requires the least amount of thinking. Um, second was to mix my paints with water and the silicone oil. Um, and I decided to go with this really fun coral and kind of a, a beigey pink and a champagne gold and then the white. And then I've already mixed four little cups um, just in the interest of saving time and I'm going to do this last one now. I'm not being careful planning out anything along those lines necessarily um, for the order that I'm pouring things in or the amount. I just kind of wanted to do it and go with the flow and see where it takes me. So a little bit of white up in here. Alright, so <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work. This is, again, one of those things that if it goes horribly wrong, never has to see the light of day. And that is the only thing giving me the courage to push through on this and give this a shot. I may not have needed that much white. We're about to find out. So I'm going to cover the canvas in this white, try to get it to flow all over. And I'm not worrying about coasters right now. I just need to experiment, see what happens, not have to be in charge so much right now and enjoy that. entirely sure how thick all of this white paint is. I'm wondering if I should have thinned it to get it to run, be a little bit more runny. Just trying to get it to even out. Having a hard time being patient with this right now. I just have, I want it to be all covered already. And if I were not, see, I'm trying to be chaotic and I'm still finding myself being careful. I'm trying to lean into the chaos and I'm still finding myself being careful and trying not to waste paint. There's just this one little back corner. And maybe I don't actually have to have the whole thing covered at this point because I'm going to be tilting it again. I just feel more comfortable with the idea that it's all going to be covered before I start. Okay, so there goes that, and I don't know why I'm even wiping things off, because it's just going to get way messier before it gets better. Uh, there's this little side that is still a little bit thin, trying to cover it fairly evenly. Alright, so usually when I've seen this kind of thing done, they don't cover the canvas in a color. Um, what I've seen someone do is fill their little cups and they have it resting on a surface um, and then the canvas resting on top of that and then they flip the whole thing so that when that happens the cups flip over and have that nice seal but I don't want to do that um, so I'm gonna try to flip cup and just leave it sitting on top hopefully as little as possible will get out that's the risk isn't quite the right word, but the uncertainty in this. Um, and here we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> it's beautiful though. I love that. Let's try this one. Nope. Hey, it's looking so cool though, and I wanted to try something new. Oh, there we go. There's more of that pretty coral color that I was hoping to see a lot of. I maybe mean, you didn't need to do this many cups worth. Um... I might do some mini paintings to use this because I don't want to waste it. Like I think this is already plenty. Um, 
and usually this is the part where I swirl, but I just want to let the colors decide where they're going to go and not try to be too controlly of it. Oh, I don't want to lose this beautiful coral though. Maybe if I tilt it this way, I'm, I'm fine with it being a little blank on these two opposing corners. I just want that to be covered. Ho, 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 ho. I changed my mind. I want this to be covered too. And then I'll just leave this corner open. Alright, so oh. Mm. So I don't love like the fingery looking things, but it's probably going to be really cool by the time this is dry. We'll see what all the cells pop out. Try not to get mm, the color on the. I can always paint white over that. On the corner, covering corners with paint so that there's no canvas left showing. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm going to do a little painting in a minute with this that's left over. But there we go. So, and I'll post the finished picture once it dries. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.